Hey everybody, Boogeyman. Chicago Coin Tournament Ski Ball. Uh, basically a six player ski ball game. So everybody loves ski ball. Now this one's got a twist to it. The targets, the top two are 30 and 20. They call that 30 a strike and the 20 a spare. So if you get a 30 or a 20 on your first throw, that's what you're getting, those points. Second ball you're throwing, you're gonna get double. And the third ball is a triple. So if you throw a 30 on the third ball, you're getting 90 points. So very important on that third ball to get a 20 or a 30. If you get a nine, eight or seven, it's just it's that point value, no doubles or triples on that. And so it's a six player game. I'm gonna play just the one player and uh, watch how it goes. Twenty double, and this will be a triple on here. Ah. All right, goes to the second frame. Twenty. That's the double. Ah, dang! That's the one you got to get. Back, we're in frame three. All right, here's the triple ball. Ah. So good today. I'm in the fourth frame, so everything's the same except if I get a 30, I get an extra ball, and the ball will come back to me on the left hand side of the game. So let's see if I can get at least a 30. come back on the left side of the game and I still got another throw so if I can get another 30 it'll come back again plus you're getting triple on this on this last ball so there you go. so I got another 30 or 90 it's a triple the ball comes back let's try for another 30 So the ball will come back, but you see it's not lit anymore. You only get that three times. So I got the maximum of three free balls. But I still could get the triple on the 30 or the 20. I did not. So, so I scored 448. Not bad. And I got all those points like in the last frame. So let's take a quick peek at it. We got a brand new back class on this game. It's beautiful. So it shows you, like I was explaining, the single, the double, and the triple on your balls. Six players had a light up there. Obviously, I only played one, so one was lit up. And you play the first, second, third, fourth frame. So the game is in original condition right now, besides the fact that I shopped it out and it's working. So you can see the 30, it says strike on there and spare. That looks to be original. This cage, I'm not sure. I saw pictures of this cage where the actual front part was like a plexiglass. That would be probably better. So when this gets restored, I will probably try to do that. So then you got your uh, ramp area. Still in pretty good shape. It's got some nicks on it and some scuff marks that could be probably cleaned up. Shows you 10 cents per player. Set for free play, you just push the plunger in or the coin mech in. You know, more read us before, loved one of these, I don't even know what you call these machines. I remember them, I don't know what they're called, but you can, you can label everything you want and it pretty much tells you what to do on it. Made that piece, so somebody went to some extent to put the instructions on how to play. They decided a game. So I have seen different paint schemes on this too. I'm not quite sure this, so this looks original to me, but until I sand it down, 
I did see another version online that I liked better with some bowling balls on it. So when I get to this, I'll probably do that. So but a lot of fun. This game, uh, especially when the uh, when you're playing for dollars or drinks, this one uh, really gets the attention. Six people can play. It's a fast game. Very competitive because everybody knows ski ball. You just got to roll it down the middle with enough force to get, get the most points. So if you're interested in this game, let me know. If you have this game, I'd love to see another one. I could restore it for you or buy it from you. I can do cosmetic or mechanical restorations. So there it is. Another one from the boogeyman.